what is up guys it is the turtle girl i believe we are live now so welcome into the stream we're gonna wait for a couple people to come in but let me know if you can hear me well and if you can see me well how the quality is i'm not quite sure how the internet's doing because it's been kind of stormy here in washington lately so i don't know let me know how the quality of everything is um uh, wait for some people to come in but today we are talking about getting pets or getting people pets for Christmas and kind of like why you shouldn't do that. So hello to everyone who's coming in the chat. I have my reindeer ears. Oh, you can't see them because they're too tall, but that's okay. <laughs> but we were talking about you shouldn't really shouldn't get people pets for Christmas. And so let us begin. Wow, this is a really great start. So pets for Christmas, why you should not do it. I feel like I'm gonna repeat myself a lot. Don't get anyone pets for Christmas. The reason why is because if you get someone a surprise, a present, which is a surprise, and it's a pet, they just, first of all, you just might not be ready for that responsibility. It's not your choice to tell them, or to, sorry. It is not your, you shouldn't surprise them with something they're not ready for. Does that make sense? Like, if you get them a pet for Christmas as a surprise and they don't know about it, then they just might end up with something they were completely not planning for. And so that animal might not have the best life because they weren't prepared for the responsibility. It might not have been the pet they wanted. And so you really shouldn't get people pets for Christmas because it's just, you don't know what that person wants unless they've like, ex unless they've like explicitly asked for it. You should not be getting them a pet because they don't know what's coming. It if it's just a surprise, they can't plan for it. So unless, like, it's someone actually asking for it who already has all of the equipment um, beforehand to get ready for that pet, then don't get them a pet for Christmas. Do not get a dog for Christmas. Do not get a cat for Christmas. Do not get anything for someone else for Christmas. I mean, like, unless you're a parent who's getting it for your kid, because I get that. Maybe because the parent will be the one taking the main responsibility for the animal and it's just to surprise their kid. But just in general, don't surprise people with pets. Pets are not good surprise gifts because people need to be ready for that responsibility of owning an animal. So that's just kind of my little spiel for today because it's almost Christmas. I probably look terrible because I've been just wrapping presents all day, decorating the house all day, but you can see. I have like this entire space now, which I'm very happy about that we just got set up um, last week. And we actually am getting rid of um, the other stand I had. If you guys remember, there was the black stand here. Um, and so now it's actually a desk, but it's not actually gonna be this desk. This desk is gonna go to my sister and I actually just got a new desk today. But it, oh, let me go to the chat and say hi to everyone coming in. Thank you guys for joining. If you want to drop a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. But let's go say hi to everyone in the chat. So we have Candy. Candy's here. Hello. Leah, Faith, Promise, Curry. Love you. I love you too. Um, Veil the Weirdo. I just passed Washington on my way to New York now. Did you? Do you mean Washington, D.C.? Because I'm all the way on the West Coast, so you probably didn't pass through Washington, but maybe Washington, D.C., but that's cool. Um, planning on getting my painted turtle next year. That is really cool. Um, Guppy's Fish Room is here, and Brittany, hello. Six student hangar hall. Preach. Yes, I know. Don't get pets for Christmas. Um, we have Andrea, Bethany, Jade, Another Bethany. Oh, wait, that's the same person. Never mind. Um, Jamie is here and Martha. And Max makes room for them. Go DM you yesterday. Oh, I think I replied to your message on Instagram. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to drop them in the chat. That's just my little rant for today. Because, I mean, I don't see many people doing it now. At least people I know, like, getting people pets for Christmas. But I just know that I would never want a pet completely sprung on me if I wasn't already prepared for it. Like, if you guys remember my Reptile Expo video from May, when it was my birthday, I was actually going, my dad gave me permission to get a leopard gecko, and I was so, so excited about that. But I didn't have a tank set up for a leopard gecko. I didn't have any of the supplies I needed. And so what I said was, I just, as much as I want to get a leopard gecko today because it's a surprise for my birthday, 
that's just not going to be responsible because I don't have my Dubia Roach colony set up. I don't have my heat and my decorations and everything ready for the gecko to take it home. And I mean, I impulse buys, I think, are just very dangerous because you, even if you do know what you're, if you already were playing, sorry, I just, my brain gets ahead of my words. Let me repeat that. So impulse buys are just a very dangerous thing because you're just not completely prepared and it can be a lot more stressful for the animal if you already don't have everything set up and ready to go on your end. And there's Hoku saying hi. Say hi to all the people, Hoku. So yeah, um, that's just my thoughts on Pets for Christmas, surprising people, whatever. Anyway, um, let's see. Where are we in the chat? I'm kind of behind, sorry. I just got an African side neck turtle. That's really cool, Jade. My grandma is actually going to buy me for Christmas. Actually, like in one... Uh, uh, in <laughs> my grandma is going to buy me a turtle for Christmas actually in one hour. So that's really, really cool. And that's okay as long as you were the one who asked for that. You know that you are completely ready. But if someone doesn't ask for a pet and you know that they're not ready and you just want to surprise them, don't do it. Just just don't. It's so stressful for the animal. Um, Drew B says, hello. Um, the Art Crusader says, my UVA and UVB lamp just died now. Going to the pet shop tomorrow. Yeah, definitely got to replace that. I just replaced my UVB lights because I replaced them in May. And so it's been six months. And so now... They're replaced and fresh UVB lights. Lucky, to be honest, I don't know what month I'm getting my turtle. It'll happen. It'll happen. Um, turtle Talk Michael says, hey, hi, Michael. Good to see you. Really, really super cool about all your conservation work that you're doing. So, hello. Um, I live in Polsbo. Hey, that's right around where I am. But I'm not telling you where I am because that's weird. <laughs> if I have five turtles, how many tank and gallons should I get? Are the turtles in, like... Separate tanks, you got to give me a little more information there. Um, you you guys know me. I'm personally kind of, I'm not totally comfortable with cohabbing turtles because it just sometimes ends badly. Um, in fact, like one time I tried to introduce Hoku and I don't actually know if I've told this story before. Anyway, one time I tried to introduce Hoku and Nemo um, in to in, to each other i tried to um introduce hoku and nemo to each other and i did it in neutral territory so i filled my i cleaned my bathtub out and i filled it with water and i tried to introduce them there and it didn't work out nemo was already chasing hoku hoku was kind of just minding his own business so maybe hoku could live with another turtle but nemo is definitely a rascal and he does not like anything around him and he will try to bite it if it moves <laughs> I have a red-eared slider, says Drew B. That's really cool. Brittany, what kind of turtles do you want? Someone else asking someone other question. You speak very fast. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I do talk really fast. I know I do. I try to slow down, but sometimes, like, my brain occasionally works faster than my mouth, and so my mouth is just trying to keep up with my brain, but I will try to talk slower for you guys so that you can actually understand me. Um... Separate tanks, says Brittany. Oh, they're in separate tanks. So it depends on the size of your turtle. Usually I just tell people the 10 gallons per inch of shell rule. So if it's a four inch turtle, 40 gallons. If it's a six inch turtle, 65 gallons, you know, whatever works. But bigger is always better. I mean, I know that's kind of like my answer for whenever anyone asks me about tank sizes, but really just bigger is better. However, whatever the biggest amount of space you can accommodate is just going to be the best thing for your turtle. Just make sure you put decorations in it. I know Hoku's tank kind of looks lame because it's literally just rocks. And I've been saying I want to redo it, but I really think I am going to redo it at some point. Christmas is just crazy busy. I'm sure a lot of you know Christmas is just crazy busy. So I haven't gotten around to doing that, but I do have some wood branches actually that I collected that I have been sterilizing that I want to put into this tank so it's not just completely bare. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, where am I in the chat? I'm sorry, I'm very much behind. Um, how do you keep your turtles stimulated? That's a great question. I think I might actually make a video for that in a little bit, Max, but I like to feed them live food, so occasionally I'll drop a fish in there for them to chase around. I've heard that turtles will actually play with ping pong balls. I haven't tried it, but like if you just float a little ping pong ball on the top, that would be a cool thing. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I, I'm thinking that I'm going to do a video on turtle enrichment soon, but yeah, I will 
get back to you on that. Um, ready to sliders. Oh, can you let a turtle roam around for a bit? I personally don't like to let my turtles run around on the carpet just because I don't really know. Well, I do know what's like in the carpet, but well, I mean, it's not like anything's in the carpet. I like vacuum my room every yeah yeah my words okay i vacuum my room like every week so i know what's in the carpet but i just don't really like the turtle all over the ground and because sometimes they pee on the ground and because i think it just stresses them out i feel like they're fine in their tank um i do in the summer let them go out into the yard but yeah um let me catch up on chat because i am very much behind raccoon creek aquatic says hey yo hello um finally in brooklyn 54 punchy says hey everyone and merry christmas yes merry christmas to all of you very soon it will be christmas i'm super duper excited it's like one of my favorite seasons of the year it's christmas and easter for me those are my two favorites so yeah you can even see here's my little christmas tree i just have like all these random presents back here too these are like presents for all of my friends and stuff but yeah, so we are getting caught up in the chat. Looks like Frank is here. Hello, Frank. Long time no see. I haven't really been in other live streams recently because time and school and holidays and stuff. But anyway, good to see you, Frank. Um, Jay, the herpetologist, are you excited for 10K subs? Yes, I am so excited. We are, I think, at about 9K right now. And so it's just a little way till 10K. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do because I haven't really thought about it, but I am just like ah, so excited. My mind is blown. I can't really consider, or I can't really imagine like almost 10,000 of you who are watching me or who are subscribed to me. Like that's just crazy. And so I am so, so, so grateful for you guys. It's just, it's just amazing. So I am beyond excited for 10,000 to come up um let's see everyone's saying hi to frank did your power go out also because it make my radiator sliders heater go out it's back now though yeah so oh really funny story you guys okay so we did lose power for about like maybe two hours um i wasn't actually at home at the time but luckily my sisters were home and so they made sure that everything was fine with the tanks i mean i was kind of concerned because i was not prepared i didn't have a power to yeah, sorry, I didn't have a battery powered air pump. And so I was mostly concerned about the axolotl and not just getting enough air into his tank and then the snail tank because that snail tank, guys, it gets dirty really fast. And so I wasn't very well prepared, but it ended up being fine. And for power outages, turtles are actually usually fine because um, they can just tolerate a lot. And so the cooler water really shouldn't bother them if it's just for a short while. But anyway, the funny, I have actually two funny stories for when the power went out here in Washington recently. So the first thing is when the power went out here at my house and I was away, I was actually away cooking um, dinner for our local men's shelter. And so we were cooking dinner for, at this place and the power went out. And so we were trying to cook a meal for these men and the power went out. Luckily, um, the we weren't cooking anything in the oven or anything. Um, so all the food was cooked. We were cooking on the stove and it was gas and stuff. So it was fine. But the power totally went out. And we were cooking dinner at the men's shelter. So that was crazy. But the second crazy story, which I think you guys will probably be more interested in, was yesterday, um, one of my dad's friends called and said he was kind of concerned because his power had been out for, I think, almost a day at that point. I'm not sure, but his power had been out and this guy has a pet snake. And so we were so, so close to going to pick up that friend's snake and I was going to babysit a snake for a day, maybe two, until his power came up back on. I'm not sure when, but literally as we were going out the door to go pick up this snake so I could watch it, which I was like ah, so excited about because you guys know I've wanted a snake forever. But as soon as like we are heading out the door, my dad gets a call and the friend says, oh, my power went back on. You don't need to come over and pick up the snake anymore. So I was pretty sad that I didn't get to watch a snake, but oh, well, at least the guy got power again and his snake is warm and happy again. But I really wanted to watch a snake. I really wanted to watch that snake. But maybe sometime else the power will come go out again. I mean, I shouldn't be hoping for the power to go out because that really, really sucks. But I mean, I just... I just want to watch a snake, okay? Okay. Um, back to the chat. We have everyone saying Merry Christmas again. 
Um, I saw this vine that an owner was pointing a laser and the turtle was following it. Is that safe? Yeah, so I actually have um, a laser on my temperature gun. And so the turtle will actually follow it around. I think I've actually showed this in one of my videos. I'm not sure which one. Um, but you can, add, you can point a laser and let the turtle chase it. You just have to be very, very, very careful that the laser doesn't get in the turtle's eye because obviously... That's very dangerous. It can cause eye damage because it's so bright. So just never let the laser go into your turtle's eye or to any animal's eye because that's just not a good thing. But you can't let them chase it. That's actually another thing you could do for enrichment. I did notice that Hoku would do that sometimes as well as Nemo. Interestingly, the fish were also very interested in the laser and like to chase it too. So that was pretty funny. Excuse me. Um, I know snakes and lizards tend to be more smart to reptiles and I know a lot about turtles but with your experience would you say they are smart I would say yes um I would say that they are pretty smart because they do recognize I feel like they do recognize when they see a human come by or at least their owner and they will beg for food um what else is to the extent do I know my turtle is smart oh well I know Hoku is smart because he has tried to escape his tank several times which is not a good thing, but luckily he has not been escaping because I have like kind of escape proofed it. I still need to put a lid on there, but basically I'm just making sure that the water level isn't um, low enough for him to escape. So there's that. Catch up, please, says Unicorn Queen. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I am trying to catch up. What kind of snake was it? Um, the snake was a ball python, and so I was just like beyond excited. I was thinking, oh, if I had the snake here, he would have been here today. And I could have, like, had a snake on a live stream and done, like, clickbaity things, which is, like, not good. But I was so excited because it was a ball python. And I really want... Okay, so here are the snakes I want. I would like, like, a ball python um, or a hognose. Um, a hognose. I kind of want, like, a leucistic or an albino because I think hognoses are just super cute with the little shovel noses. Um, I kind of used to want a Kenyan sand boa, but I feel like hognoses are kind of cooler and cuter i don't know but i just really want a snake i really want a snake but we're still working on the leopard gecko so leopard gecko first and then you guys will go for a snake maybe we can say something like when i hit twenty thousand, we can get a snake maybe i can get my parents to agree to that they probably won't but we can try um trying to catch up on the chat danny's aquariums is here hey everyone how are y'all doing hi danny it is good to see you it's been a been a while are you are you still on instagram because i think i looked up your instagram account and it wasn't there anymore so is everything good um let's see rust player says hey turtle girl i recently got a rigid slider and spent 225 dollars on a setup for him well that is awesome i'm glad you're committed and being able to spend that time and money on your turtle it shows that you care and i hope that your turtle has a great life i mean turtles aren't cheap they just aren't and so i mean that's what it is. Um, there was a tornado in Silverdale, Washington. I know there was. And the crazy thing is, um, I don't know if you guys know. So there was a tornado in like my area, like not like near me, but actually near one of my friends. And so one of my friends' houses was like actually hit by the tornado. And so their house is just a mess. Um, pray for them, keep them in your prayers, hope that they can get everything figured out, but they have a family with a couple of young kids, like really young kids, and so that just, ugh, I can only imagine what they're going through right now, that really, really sucks because their house is just, it's, it's not good, it's very bad, they're staying with some other people right now, and they can't go back to their house until the insurance people come, and because it's the holidays, then they just, they have to wait, and just just keep them in your prayers yeah it's really crazy I, who knew tornadoes came to washington like what the heck i thought that was a kansas thing um hognos are illegal in my state because they're venomous uh, i see that because they're like is it rear fang they have rear fanged and they're just like mildly mildly venomous anyway did you swap your gecko and axolotl tanks no i actually did not because thank you for your suggestion by the way jeremy um but i did not actually swap them because I realized that I basically, how it works is, here, I can kind of show you. Let me show you this. So, oh, that's, don't look at the light. But, so I put the um, tank, I left it on the top because there's the fan that keeps the tank cool. If I, I don't, I couldn't find out a way to, like, put it down here so that would actually work. So I just did switch them. Anyway, let me get this all set up again. Oops. Okay. 
Anyway, um, where are we? You're close to 10K. Nope, I'm not on Instagram anymore. Long story. Back on YouTube. Well, Danny, I hope everything's okay. I hope to see you put out more videos um, soon. So, yeah. How many years can a turtle live? Uh, that depends on several factors, including the type of turtle, genetics, um, the quality of care it's getting, health, just literally a bunch of things. So, I mean, I would say a guesstimate between 30 to 60 years, but that's like a very long span. And it really depends on how well you take care of it and also like the turtles, just species and genetics and stuff. I mean, I've only had my turtles for like three years four years three or four years now so i don't know hoku or actually nemo is oh my gosh 13 or 14 now i don't even know he's an old turtle but i did adopt him anyways yeah so hopefully next year we won't be traveling a lot next year but traveling is fun but yeah i get that it can kind of be hectic running around and stuff i know that um poor guys yeah just keep them in your prayers that that family that um is our friends that um, the tornado hit their house. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so the axolotl tank, I just I just had to leave it there because of the fan. My mom was driving like 50 feet from it, but she's fine. Oh my goodness, I'm glad that she is safe. New video after your live stream, new project, says Danny. Awesome, can't wait to watch. They normally live up to 60 years from what I heard. Yeah, so it's really just a general guesstimate. Um, so yeah, can you do a care video about pink bellied side necks? So I actually get questions like this a lot. Like, can you make a care video for a mud turtle or a musk turtle or a side neck or a red-eared slider or basically any turtle on earth? And I'm just here thinking, well, I don't actually own that turtle. So I don't really feel comfortable making a care video about a care video about something I don't even own and potentially something I haven't even really done much research on. Um, I mean, turtle care is pretty much the same across the board. So I have that general turtle care video. Um, but, um, I mean, I just don't feel comfortable making a, a care video about something I've never owned. In fact, like, I haven't even made a care video for the axolotl because I haven't owned it that long. And so I'm just waiting until I get more experience because I know that when I put it, sometimes I have to keep this in mind is that when I say something on the internet, because I have so many people watching me, it's, um, it's like I influence you guys. And I try to say in my videos, like, this is just my opinion. And there's like, there's not one good, there's not one perfect way to take care of a turtle. And so I try to say that in most of my videos. Um, but I still feel like I have an influence on people. And so it's like my responsibility to make sure that I'm putting out good information and not being a part of misinformation. So if I've never owned an animal, then like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll own a pink belly side neck. I don't know. They're really pretty turtles though. I can say that and they look super cool and super cute. Um, but I just don't have space for another turtle right now. I'm working on a leopard gecko. We have our first super chat of the afternoon. Bob Steenfot says, can you make a video about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? You guys are probably going to think I'm crazy. But I'm going to tell you right now. Just like, don't hate me. But I never actually really watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like, any of it. To be completely honest. I know that there's like Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Leonardo. And because of those turtles, a lot of kids went out and bought Ready to Sliders. But I never actually like watched the cartoons or anything. Or watched the movies. So, yeah. Call me uncultured. But I just... <laughs> I never watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, Bob, um, I don't know if I'd ever make a video about that. Maybe, like, I can dress Hoku up and show him escaping his tank like a ninja. But don't feed your turtles pizza. Just, no. No. Um, unsubbed, unsubbed. See, I'm sorry, guys. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, not my thing. But, hey, real turtles, that's my thing. <laughs> LOL, it says everyone. Wah! All these incredulous people. The turtle girl hasn't watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I know. I know. But I'm sorry. I'm like... I don't know if that was like... I'm not that old. So I don't know if it was like behind my time. Or maybe it was just because we never had the TV on my, in my house. Like, to be completely honest. I really don't watch that much TV. Like, even cartoons. My one cartoon that I've just always watched was Avatar The Last Airbender. But that was pretty much it. Like, I didn't watch TV. Um, we watch movies, but, yeah, not really cartoons. So, 
That's my explanation. You're not lonely. I don't know anything about Ninja Turtles. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> oh, boy. I almost got my dad a turtle egg a few years ago as a gift for Christmas or his birthday. A turtle egg. I'm not sure how that would work. I think you'd probably still have to incubate it. But, yeah. Do not surprise people with pets. I'll say it again. That's basically what this live stream is about. Sorry. I just banged my table. Um, what gallon of tank should you have for a forest turtle? Right now, I have him in a 35 gallon. But I'm looking for an upgrade since he is getting bigger says Casey Abstin. I hope I said your name right. Um, so Casey, it um, what I'm going to say is 40 gallon would be for the size of your turtle right now. But what species is your turtle? Because if the turtle is going to get bigger, you might as well just upgrade it to the size it'll need when it's an adult. And that way you're not constantly having to slowly upgrade in increments. Instead, you can just have the big tank from the start. So maybe like a 75 gallon, if you think your turtle is going to grow bigger than four inches, um, so yeah, 75 gallon. Ooh, Avatar. Yes. Avatar the Last Airbender is the best. That's rough, buddy. Um, okay, the movie for that show. Yuck. We do not mention that movie, Ed's Fish. We do not mention that movie. That movie is not existent. Mm -mm. The Last Airbender is just no. Just no. Yes. Um, you don't want me to get nerdy on Avatar The Last Airbender because I could probably talk about it for 12 hours straight. Not even joking. <laughs> um, let's see. Can can you do an updated version of Turtle Karen's setup and supplies for turtles? Yes, I do want to do that because I sometimes I just go back into my old videos and cringe because I'm like, girl, why were you even filming with your face that close to the camera? It just looks bad. Or, like, my lighting is terrible. Or just, like, I look terrible. And so I do want to go back and redo those videos, definitely. Um, I do believe that I'm trying to do a collab with someone. And so I'm very excited about that when I redo this tank. And so I'm going to be doing... redoing When I redo Hoku's tank, which will hopefully be soon. I really hope it'll be soon. Um, but, um, Sorry. Lost my train of thought again. But when I do redo this tank, I sh will be making videos about it and possibly doing a couple collabs along the way. So, yeah. I'll take a baby turtle for Christmas. Only ask for it if you are prepared for it. And you shouldn't get someone as a surprise. I'm going to say it again because public service announcement. Don't surprise people with pets for Christmas. If they ask for it, then that's okay. And if they're prepared for it, that's okay. But if you want to surprise them, Get them a stuffed animal. Thank you. Um, you can order the egg online, which is not a good thing. Anything could happen to the turtle egg while getting shipped. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting a turtle egg. I mean, I've never. This is the first I've heard of it. But from what it sounds like, it would be um, you're more you're likely to lose the turtle anyway. So you might as well just start with a hatchling turtle if you really want a baby turtle. I think it's okay to give someone a pet if they know the animal is coming. They ask for it and they are fully prepared to care for it. Absolutely. Preach, Jeremy's Wild Studio. Exactly. I've trained my turtles when it's time to eat while she's the color yellow. Okay. Um, but don't just dump an animal on someone most inconvenient gift ever. Pretty much. Pretty much. Because then they're trying to find space for it. They're trying to figure out how to care for it. To so just, just don't. No good. LOL, I knew like Turtle Girl for a reason. Haha. <laughs> yes. Avatar the Last Airbender. Uh-huh. Amazing. Girl. Girl. Steve Fott. Uncle Bob. Auntie Bob, yeah. Also, Bob, you have to tell me, are you going to the expo on Saturday or Sunday? Because I found out that I have a wedding to go to on Saturday. So I'm not going to make it to the expo on Saturday, but I might make it on Sunday. So if we're still picking out Caleb a gecko, wink, wink, um, yeah, just let me know. Message me on Instagram or something. Or just say it in the chat if you don't really care about people knowing. Anyway. It's a male rated slider, and yes, you said my name right. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. So, 75 gallon because it's a rated slider. Um, yeah, so that's my recommendation for you. It's okay, I look terrible or something all the time in my videos. It shouldn't be about the looks, it should be about the content. Well, thank you, I guess. Um, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, yep, you are bad, soul. Candy, Candy, we all know Caleb needs leopard gecko in his life. I mean, like, you're actually kind of like my mom because my mom is totally against a leopard gecko, but she wants a chameleon, you guys. My mom wants a chameleon, kind of like how Candy wants a chameleon, but she doesn't want a leopard gecko. Candy, by the way, I'm just teasing, so, like, don't get offended by this. But my mom wants a chameleon, but I want a leopard gecko, and I don't, like, I want a chameleon, but I know that I, like, do not have the space 
or the time right now because chameleon sort of care is pretty intense. I mean, like, it's not difficult per se. It's just like it takes a lot of time. So I'm, I just, I want a chameleon. I just don't think I'm ready. Um, I can go Sunday. All right. Well, that sounds cool. Hopefully, I will see you there then, and we can pick out something for Caleb candy, please. Just, 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 please, please. Um, okay, and then where are we in the chat? We got our cat because my mom knew someone whose friend got them a cat, and they work long hours and could not take care of him. Yeah, so adopting is a really good thing, but just if you're prepared for it. Like, that's my opinion on it. You have to be prepared for the animal you are getting. Otherwise, it just doesn't make sense. Um, I didn't know about an expo. Yeah, so in the Seattle area, in Puyallup, there's going to be an expo in January. And I will probably be there as long as everything goes right. So, yeah. Um, good thing I love you. I love you too, Candy. We should get Caleb a Tegu. No, now, Frank, now that is insane because Tegus just get way too big. And I get that they're like puppy dogs. But that is just way too intense. I would never force a tegu on someone who didn't want it. Now, a leopard gecko, that's pretty easy to deal with. But a tegu, that's like a dog, but like harder to take care of because you have to like keep it in a cage or whatever. Um, okay, whoa, chameleons can be sensitive and require more space. Yeah, so I don't know. Chameleon, no chameleon, probably not a chameleon unless my mom is absolutely dying for one. Like, it's not like I don't want one. I just... I'm just so worried and so scared that I'm going to do something bad. And I don't, I don't want a pet to die. It's just really sad. Um, no, Frank. Yeah, Frank, I'm sorry. That's just like too much. Um, yeah, chameleons are an advanced reptile. I passed up the chance to get one with a six foot enclosure for super cheap because I don't feel ready. Yeah, and I feel like that's the responsible thing to do too. Like if you aren't prepared to take care of it and if you are not confident, then you probably shouldn't. I feel like I need to get more experience with lizards even before I get a chameleon because I've never owned a lizard before, you guys. All, the only reptiles I've ever owned are the turtles. And the turtles are basically like fish, except they need a basking area. And I know it's not hard, but I just want to make sure I know what I'm doing and that I can commit that amount of time and effort into taking care of it. So trying to dip my toes in the water with a leopard gecko. Hopefully getting one at the expo in January. So, yeah, keep your fingers crossed. I've been bugging my parents about it. Hopefully for Christmas, they'll, like, get me a thermostat for my heat mat and just be like, okay, here's all the supplies for Leopard Gecko. We finally said you can get one. So, Mom and Dad, if you're watching, just saying. Um, LOL, can you say whose comment you're reading, says Unicorn Queen. Sorry, bad habit. I am... I don't live stream often, so I'm not very good at reading chat, if that isn't evident. <laughs> um, yeah, Jeremy's Wild Studio. I want a blue tongue skink. Yeah, blue tongue skinks are really cool. I love them, too, and I think they're really cool to own. Um, isn't their care kind of like bearded dragons? Don't they have to eat green or something? Anyway, I love blue tongue skinks because I just watch all these videos of them. And they're like literally noodles with just tiny little legs. And they're just so, so cute. So blue tongue skinks are so cool. Um, I don't if I... Oh, sorry. I'm going to read the names. I'm trying. I'm trying. Isom's... Isom... Sorry if I say your name wrong. Isom's Hamsters. I don't if I'm the one, only one, but I always ask for my presents to be for my pets. That is the pet lover's life. For Christmas, they don't ask for presents for myself, for themselves. They ask for presents for their pets. That's pretty much me. If you ever saw my Amazon wish list, you'd be like, what is like the actual stuff she wants? Because this is all just like reptile decor and live plants and gift cards to aquarium co-op and just a bunch of random stuff. And like, uh, does she want anything for herself? Mm, not much. I mean, like, because... How I feel about stuff is that I just have everything I need. And so why ask someone to spend money on that when I could just get something for my animals? Or just like, I don't know. I don't need more stuff for the most part. Just more pets and more stuff for my pets, but not for me. <laughs> um, I might go both days, says Steampot Aquatics. Oh, that's cool. See, I'm really bummed that I can't go on Saturday because I feel like a lot of the good stuff gets sold on the first day. And so if I come the second day, and I'll probably be coming later because I won't be able to get to the expo until like past one. 
And so I will just be there for like the last couple of hours. And I feel like a lot of the stuff will already be sold. So I don't know, but got to do what I got to do. I'm not going to miss the expo, um, but I just I have the wedding on Saturday and I can't miss that. So um, yeah, yeah, very similar to Bearded Dragons Care Wise, said Jeremy's Wild Studio. Well, that's really cool. I wish I could have more pets, but we all know. Space. Anyway, <laughs> sorry for all the questions, says Casey, but I just wondered how you have enough money to get all the supplies that your turtles need. Also, how do you get the money? Thanks so much. By the way, I love you so much. Well, thank you for the question. So basically, how I pay for my animals is... Obviously, I get money from birthdays, Christmas. Um, in my family, we also do allowances, kind of. We call them commissions. And so, basically, um, if we do all our chores, so sometimes in a week, that'll be you're the one doing all the dishes or you're vacuuming or cleaning or whatever. We have to make meals and all this. And my parents will give us a pretty good amount of money per week. But the catch is, even if they give us, like, $15 a week, we have to pay for all of our activities and stuff. And so I budget my money out so that I can pay for my animals. And a lot of the times I do do thrift store shopping and um, I ask for things for Christmas. Um, but I just budget out my money and then just try to save where I can. So like literally so much of the stuff I use is used so like this tank was actually given to me by my uncle um the basking area i have here was actually sent to me for free from chewy.com because i'm an influencer with them on instagram um the basking lights i got were used um what else like the, literally only recently have i actually been buying brand new stuff is because youtube i actually do get a little bit of return from YouTube. And so that is also going into my pet budget. And then also my patrons on Patreon also help me out with a lot of the stuff. So like the patrons, I've been saving up their money. And that's how I was able to get the big purchases such as the racks that we have. And what else? Oh, and I also got new studio lights. And so that's how I get the money to just do all the things I'm doing. But a lot of it is just saving where I can, DIYing where I can, and just praying and crossing my fingers that there are awesome people who are related to me who want to get me pet stuff for Christmas and birthdays. Um, so yeah, that's how I do it. Um, Unicorn Queen says, how can you decorate a turtle tank for Christmas? So I kind of was going to do it this year, but then everything got crazy, hectic, busy. And so I didn't. But I think you could probably find like Christmas fish tank decorations. You could put those in there. Um, you can also do like fairy lights or Christmas lights around the tank. I think that looks really cute. What else can you do to decorate a fish tank for Christmas? I mean, you can kind of just decorate the area around it. Oh, my sister has these really cool chalk markers. And so I know um, last Christmas we actually um, drew on the tank because it was like erasable. And so we drew a bunch of cute Christmas things on the tank. And then you can also put wrapping paper as your background if your background isn't already painted. And so that's how you could decorate your tank for Christmas. That would be really fun. I just didn't have time this year. <laughs> Um, the Crafty J says, hi, the Crafty J says, what's PSA? PSA is a public service announcement. Basically, it's just a, it's just a thing, but yeah. Um, my name is pronounced Esam, Esam, Esam. I don't know. Sorry. I'm very bad at pronunciation. Israel's world says, what can I feed my turtle? I recommend a staple diet of turtle pellets and just, um, regular turtle food. So yeah. Um, Turtle pellets for most babies. Adults will need a more veggie-based diet. Yep, pretty much what Crafty J said. Um, Phoenix Aquatics 4, 411 Legacy. Hi, Candy. Well, hello, Phoenix Aquatics. I know you're not saying hi to me, but hello. Um, and Candy is linking all my things. Thank you so much, Candy. Um, Unicorn Queen asks, what can you feed a baby turtle? Well, obviously pellets. Um, I like to give baby turtles also a little bit more protein, but just don't overdo it because too much protein can cause their shell to um, can cause their shell to grow too fast and can cause all sorts of shell problems. But you can feed them things like snails, um, earthworms. Those are all really good things for enrichment too. Um, by the way, speaking of feeding, um, I'm probably gonna jump off here in a bit because it's been like 40 minutes. What the heck? Time just flies. Um, but I'm actually gonna feed my turtles, and so I was wondering if you guys wanted to see. Actually, I don't wonder. I am gonna feed Hoku some snails, 
And so that's what we're going to do right now. I'm just going to put him back here so you guys can see him. So, okay. Let's grab the turtle. So basically what I do when I'm feeding them is I will just take some of the water out of the tank. I mean, this is very difficult to do because I'm like trying to not go into the frame. Anyway, let me turn up my microphone, by the way, so you can hear me just a second. Sorry. And okay. So I basically have my thing with water here. Let me move my chair so you guys can see. I'll probably bring you closer. And then I just grab Hoku out. Usually he'll just come to the top. Come here, buddy. You hungry? Everyone's going to watch you eat. There we go. All right. And then I'll put him in here. And I am going to go grab a snail. So I will be right back. All right, so I have a couple snails here from my snail tank. You guys can see those. And so we are gonna go feed him. Um, let me grab this camera and I'll bring you guys a little bit closer. So here we go. Oh, that's very shaky. Sorry, I hope you guys don't get motion sickness. And usually I will just try to feed with my hands, but sometimes um, he gets my fingers. And so I don't really like that. All right, let's see. Here we go. Oh, it's not focusing. Sorry about that. Oh, man, don't bite my fingers. I just get so skittish. All right, it's there on the ground. It's over here. Go eat it. He, he doesn't even see it. Sometimes he's, like, really stupid. Dude, it's, like, on the other side. It's by your butt. It's right here, you guys. Go eat it. There we go. All right, now we'll do number two. I'm not giving it to you because last time you almost bit me. All right, there we go. So Hoku has now eaten um, two snails. I fed him yesterday, so I'm not going to feed him anymore. Let me put you guys back up here. <laughs> Sorry about all the motion sickness happening there. But that's just basically how I feed him. I thought you guys might enjoy just seeing live feeding. Hopefully you didn't get motion sickness from that. But yeah. So let me check in the chat. We'll read a couple more questions if you guys have any. And then we will call it a day. So yeah. How do you tame a turtle, says Unicorn Queen? Um, Honestly, I've been asking the same question. So I feel like if you just get them used to them get them used to you so like by sorry i'm gonna sit down here because i don't like squatting um so basically if you just um get them used to you so stand by the tank watch them while they're eating um and if you maybe try to hold them um after a couple of weeks and just hold them and put them back down or actually you know what would be better just put your hand in the tank and try to get them to swim up to it but not bite it now, Nemo is definitely not tame. He'll try to bite my fingers. He hates being held. But Hoku here is actually pretty chill. Like, this guy will kind of just sit and be happy. He's dripping all over me, but that's okay. He will just sit and chill. He's not super feisty, and he's not mean. Like, Hoku or Nemo would be, fran would be frantically moving right now, but Hoku will kind of just roam around. He's just generally pretty sweet. Um... I'll put him back in here for now. And now my pants are all wet. Sorry. I need a towel. <laughs> um, but yeah. So let's go back into the chat. That is how I would try to tame them. I mean, I'm really not sure how much you can actually tame a turtle because they're smart, but like they're never going to be like a dog and actively seek you out if that makes sense. Um, so yeah. Does it bite on purpose? <laughs> I mean... He probably thinks my fingers are food, but I mean, I don't know. I've, I've never put too much effort into it because if that's their natural behavior, then I'm just fine with it. He doesn't have to love me. Turtles really aren't the type of pet you just hold all the time anyways. So I kind of just watch him. It's really fun to see him try to swim through the glass. I should probably give him more stuff to explore in there. Um, but I just try not to bother them because if they want to be left alone, I'll just leave them alone. Um, let's see. I think we have a question going on here. 
It's been three days, says Julie. Probably a turtle not eating. If a turtle's not eating, just patience, patience. Um, I want to go home now. I'm supposed to be going home the 29th, says Vale the Weirdo. Yes. Oh, people are talking amongst themselves. Um, the bigger, the better for stable water parameters and more space to swim around. I believe you're talking about tank size. Yep. Um, my grandma isn't supposed to be taking care of my pets. Um, Zoom at hatchling formula. Okay, so I think there's all kinds of conversations going in on the chat, but we'll answer this last question, which is, will you ever get a tortoise? Well, let me show you. This is my tortoise right over here. Check it out. Okay, so this is actually a thrift store find from today. And I think it's super duper cool. This is not a real tortoise, you guys. It is totally not a real tortoise. But this is actually a thrift store find. It's like a lamp. And it's super duper cool because it's like glass. And so I was like, yes, I need this. Because look at like, it's just so cute. And so it's on my desk right now. Oh, look at that. I just have a lovely hair sticking out. Let's fix this. Um, so I have this from today. And I just thought it was super cute and super cool. And it lights up. Like, what the heck? So, to, but to actually answer your question, I mean, I don't know if I'd actually ever get a tortoise just because of space, even. And, like, I think tortoises are cool. I just feel, I've never felt, like, I mean, tortoises and turtles are extremely similar. And I love them. And I think they're adorable. But it was just, like, space. And being outside and eating all these greens. And so I've never really done research into owning a tortoise. I mean, like I would, I've heard that they're really friendly and super personable, but I don't know if it's just my thing right now because I just don't have a place to keep it like at all. So maybe like a box turtle, but not a tortoise right now, maybe in the future. Oh, and Ray just joined Ray. I was going to end the stream, but now I have to talk for longer because you're here. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so she is saying hi to everyone. That's a beautiful lamp. I know, right? I just, Fell in love with it, and I could not leave the store without it. I was just like, I need that in my life. I don't care how much it is. I'm buying it. Like, I mean, it was at the thrift store, but it was $25. But I was like, you know, sometimes I have to treat myself to nice things. And it's almost Christmas. So that's kind of like my Christmas present from my patrons to me is what I said. Because my patrons have been awesome. And yeah. So that tortoise looks weird. Yeah, it kind of does, Frank, doesn't it? Look at all, all the scoots are off and stuff. But I mean, it's still really beautiful. Like, wow. Wow. Um, all right. You're the first person I've ever seen move their turtle to another closure for feeding. Huh, that's interesting. So the reason I like to do this is just because it gets it can get pretty dirty um, in his tank, if I feed them in there, because he doesn't, like, eat the whole pellet, he kind of breaks it up into little pieces, and so the tank started getting really dirty really fast, and so I saw that other keepers were using this method to feed in other containers, and it's worked really well so far, um, it's been a lot easier on having to do water changes and stuff, but anyways, I started moving my turtle to separate bin for feeding because of you, and I'm so glad the tank is so much cleaner, and it's helped a ton, says grace so grace i'm really glad to hear that okay well let's read a couple more of the chat we will end at 50 minutes so i have two minutes this is the last two minutes of the stream um so someone just asks if you can how old are you so generally like you guys might notice that i kind of dodge questions about my age and it's just because i am younger and so i just don't like to put my age out there because internet safety and things. But yeah, so I'm not gonna tell you how old I am. You can probably guess. Um, I mean, I'm not old, so there's that. Um, I would love a Herman's tortoise, but it would outlive me, says Ray. Yeah, tortoises also live a long time. So I'd have to be like, I'm really gonna be committed to this. And frankly, I like, I love tortoises, but I think that I would like to spend my money and time elsewhere. And I mean, that's okay. You are the best. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have one more minute left in the stream. My mom's already telling me, oh, <laughs> she's already telling me it's time to go. So can you feed your turtle feeder fish? Yes, I do feed my turtle feeder fish. There's actually a Danio, one lone Danio in my feeder tank. And then I'm thinking of putting a betta in my feeder tank, like redoing it because I want to redo a lot of stuff. I've been redoing a lot of stuff recently. So yeah. How many turtles do I have? I just have two at the moment. I have 
the Diamondback Terrapin, as well as Nemo, who is my Eastern Painted Turtle. Merry Christmas, says Susan. Oh, Susan, you're just joining into the stream. Um, we're just about to end it. We've got 30 seconds left because I'm on a schedule because after this, I have to go wrap presents and clean my house because people are coming over for Christmas. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. This was like a lot of fun just chatting with you guys, nerding about nerding out about Avatar The Last Airbender and talking about why you shouldn't get pets for Christmas and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all awesome things. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you do me a favor and drop a thumbs up on the way out, I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you all have an amazing Christmas and happy holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, hopefully we will get snow here in Washington. I don't think we will, but you know, it doesn't hurt to pray for snow. So Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you all have a great time spending with family and yeah. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Let's end it. End.